So yeah, let's get us a Nine Tails. Really? Yeah. That's just gonna be the end of of Vulpix. Yep. That was quick. But well, Vulpix. actually, let's let's just go over what Vulpix summary, right? Yeah, check summary. summary. Quirky. Alert to sounds. Okay. It's very short. Judge. It's the best at special attack and speed. It's a pretty good one. Yeah. Okay. And. Wait, markings? Uh, it, you can give it like a circle or a square. It, it's meaningless. Oh, interesting. But yeah, we can learn. We can get Blizzard as a TM. So just, yeah. How do you check its moves? Uh, check summary. Is it left or right? And press, nope, press Y. Y. Judge. Or, no, back? Yeah. More details, A. A. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Confuse Ray, Aurora Beam, Dazzling Gleam. I've never heard of that before. It's a really good fairy type move. Uses, yeah, damages opposing Pokemon by emitting a powerful flash. Yeah, so it's it's straight up not going to learn anything useful after this. Oh, So. okay. At least according to what pages I can find. So just evolve it. Okay. You'll use the power up pocket and the ice stone. Because technically you also have Captivate, which is like if opposing Pokemon is the opposite gender of them, it's charmed. Yeah, but. But like. Mm. Eh. And then I what? guess there's also what? Sheer Cold, evolving. which is like a one hit KO, but. Really? But does it have a bad accuracy or anything else? Uh, yeah, it's got an awful accuracy. 30%. 30%. And you only have five shots with it. And it's like, I'd be better to just use that. And Ninetales is pretty. Congratulations, your Vulpix transforms to a Ninetales. Woo! Ninetales' data, data will be added to the Pokedex. It lives on mountains perpetually covered in snow and is revered as a deity incarnate. It appears draped in a blizzard. Oh, it's a fairy type, too. Oh, that's actually really good. I know. Well. Let's go. See, is my Charmeleon any good? Nope. Complete garbage. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Awesome. Wow, it's small. Hot damn Vulpix. Or, Ninetales is small. But Ninetales is a fox. You'd expect that. I was expecting it to be a lot larger. It's also stuck. I think you have the most special variety of well, it's, Ninetales. It, she's running. I'm not a big fan of the weird... That's, no, 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 for the best. Well, they don't want to have to do multiple yeah. models for... Uh, yep. You're challenged by Beauty Mai. Mai sent out Execute. Well, that's the first Execute you've seen. Oh, man. I, I never liked how the one had a yoke exposed. Yeah. I think the one with the yoke exposed... I'm not sure if it has a face. Yeah, that one's just dead. Oh, no. No, it does. He's backwards. He's backwards. Oh. Oh. That unfortunate creature. Kill it. Aurora Beam or Ice Beam? Ice Beam does better damage. You might as well use Aurora Beam for now. Save Ice Beams for the harder fights. True. Which are going to be never, as this is a 2v1, as usual. Bloom. And it is dead. Awesome. And it's going to get boosted EXP because it was traded, so... You know, I think the reason why I never really care too much about Vanilla Ice or Trubbish or whatever... Mm-hmm. Execute. Oh, give me a break. Yeah, Execute and Executor? Ugh. Like, execu uh, Executor is, like, okay, I it's kind of... But, like, Execute? Like, that's the least interesting Pokemon for generations. Like, it... Oh, mm. anyway. Weren't you peeking in here earlier? Yes, how did you know? Brock was, that's all I know. Picnicker Tina. Hey, you got it right. Yep, set out Gloom. I always sent Pinnaker when I was a kid.
Aurora Yeah, just keep hitting him with a Aurora Beam. I'm not even sure if my Charmeleon's gonna be useful I love here. Ice types. If, uh, actually, we might as well switch my Charmeleon in for Reseteer so we can at least make, uh, no. Make some money? Yeah, maybe. I guess it does, I don't know. How much Realis money are we getting? Realistically, once we hit uh, the Elite Four, and we should probably just like go fast to the Elite Four. Then we just have in infinite money, so like, who cares? I don't want to see myself lose. That's always not a chance when you. But yeah, I fight. always thought Nine Tails was like Arcanine size, but that uh, is apparently quite wrong. Arcanine's massive. Look, look, see my Pokemon. I like grass types. I like how they're easy to raise. Really? Most people I know, they say that they end up killing their pet plants. You're challenged by beauty, Tamiya. Tamiya sent out Oddish. I really want one person in this game to react to the fact that we're co-oping this. And be like, this is not fair, and then summon a friend. <laughs> That would make me so happy. People are commenting on how that was a real door is supposed to be thunder. Yeah. And storm. I mean, he burned down a whole town, so. <laughs> I'm gonna say Veldora, Storm Dragon, but like, not like. It was lightning. because I named War Turtle. Tempest. Yeah, Tempest. So I was like, well, I gotta go with it. I don't know. I just don't like Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell freaks Weeping me Bell out. There's fun. just something about it that looks brain dead and horrifying. Like, look at it. That stare. It goes to eternity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no there's no sparkle in its eye. Yeah. That thing saw the universe and it blinked. We it or weeped. it didn't blink. It weeped. Yeah, it did. Endlessly. an actual quote to gaze upon the universe and weep or gaze yeah, upon the world like and weep yeah. something like that no nothing behind her no okay we want to go left i'll chop both down i guess we might as well go this way No, we should go this. Maybe yeah. go this way. Mm, wait. Oh yeah, we already we already fought her. Well, so. no, no, no. The reason why I want to check this way is just in case there's an item. Though I don't know if there's items in the gym. This is pro. Nope. Nope. Where does that go? I mean, it just leads us back to where we've been. Oh, it's a drop. Yeah, down. it's meaningless. Let's see. There's Erica. Yep. Uh. What's your hobby? Yes, let's battle Pokemon. It is interesting how many uh, how many people actually have watched the the slime anime, oh, or yeah. like read the novels or manga. Like I don't think I've seen nearly this level of like well, it's a common unique, interest. Unique concept. Then again, we grew up in the generation where. One Piece, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yeah, I guess there Naruto, wasn't as much variety. It's just Shami for me, I, I guess for me, it was one of the light novels that I would consistently recommend to people. Uh, like, I think if you go back to my Xenoblade Chronicles X series, I, I spent like an hour and a half wandering around doing grind quests or something like that, and I was talking about light novels. And it was one of the, like, several that I was very, very like, y'all should read this, it's real good. Splendid. And so, like, you know, now that everybody's seen the anime or whatever, it's interesting to, like, make references to it, to it or, like, just hear people talking about it. I'm like, oh, that's cool, actually. Oh, I like that. it's one of these trainers. It's interesting that they don't aggro. Welcome to the Celadon City Gym. 
You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. I will burn your Pokemon down. <laughs> You're challenged by Ace tra Trainer Mary. And she sent out Weeping Bell. I really want her coat in this game. Yeah, that looks really... It's really sophisticated and dapper. Yeah. It looks like an actual uh, uniform. Mm-hmm. Like, I would love to play a Pokemon game at some point where you can... You're not just the kid. I know. Well, we, we discussed this, the whole wanting to be a young adult or an established trainer. Yeah, like even Temtem. Like, I don't know. I just want to play a, one of these games where it's like, yeah, I want to just be a hiker. Start me as a hiker. Use that character model. I'm going to be a hiker for the whole game. <laughs> Have my starter be a Geodude. I'll live with it. Grossly overpowered monster. <laughs> Level three. Oh, Tangela. Tangela's design always bugged me a little bit. That was another weird one, because to me, it looked like something out of McDonald's. Yeah. Like, what were those creatures? It's such a weird, lazy design. Like, especially the, the weird, like, boots. It the looks shoes. like a Kirby creature. Uh-huh. Like, I would have been fine without the boots, I think. Mm -hmm. But the boots just, like... Why? Oh, beaten. I... I don't know. There is just some really dumb Pokemon out there. There's some really good ones, but there's some really dumb ones. Oh, hey. We don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. Or flying. Or ice. Or ice. You're challenged by Last Lena. Actually, how does Steel match up Grass against... Grass sucks against Steel. Right, that was another one, because Steel probably mm -hmm. cuts it. Yeah, Steel isn't super effective against it, but Grass is ineffective against it. So is Grass really only effective against ground and water? And maybe Rock? I think? What else is it good against? Because I'm wondering what the most well-rounded team is for... Because what's good against fire? Water and ground are. Anything else? I really can't... Yeah, I don't know. Can't I've say. always I've always liked water the best. It might not be the most all-rounder, but I, if I remember it, it's only weak water, to Water has a grass. lot of strengths. Yeah. It, it's good against a large number of things, and Surf is absurdly powered. Do you want to learn agility on... No. No. Okay. That was on Pidgeotto. Okay, let's take a look at this for a second. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, Grass... Suck it, sucks against flying, poison, bug, steel, fire. So many. Uh, grass, Poor grass and dragon. Poor grass. Fire only sucks against rock, fire, and water. And dragon. Water sucks against water, grass, and dragon. So actually, water is probably your best all-rounder. Yeah, as it's far one of those things where go. you want to find as few weaknesses as possible. Yeah. Oh, my turn. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. What is the generally... Dark is pretty good. Because Dark is generally only weak to... Uh, or Dark just sucks against fighting and fairy. And it's good against uh, ghosts and psychic. And then otherwise, it's just a good all-rounder. Maybe... It was one of those generic, later editions. I don't know. What was the one that's, like, real good? Ground is kind of okay. It's got a lot of strengths. It just has the zero times against flying, Another which makes it rough, because flying is real common. And things that have levitation. Bug looks bad. Bug is awful. Bug's only good against grass and psychic. And dark. Mm. Oh, I forgot it was good against dark. Huh, interesting. Yeah. It's interesting, because dark is... just does full time on bug. Flying's okay. Oh, you... 
Ghost. Ghost is real good. Yeah, Ghost was one of those types where for a while it didn't really have much for weaknesses. Yeah. Because, well, Ghost's Ghost only, like, immediate weakness is... Other Ghost and Dark type. And it can't be affected by normal or fighting, which is nice because most Pokemon use that as their alternate. That probably we want to go good. in. Yeah, we want to go in. And loop around. If I remember, like, Ghost Steel is real broken. Because you have a lot of resistances. Uh, nah. I just wanted to go here just to see. Because it looked like this was just a way around. I think that's if you had dropped down. If you yeah. had accidentally dropped yeah, down. Yeah, if you had dropped down and taken the wrong way. I mean, it's pretty, pretty forgiving. Yeah, spirit spirit team is why they inv invented the fire type. Yeah, that thing, that one was rig ridiculous. Uh, cause it this is it probably her. Didn't have any weaknesses. I want to say. I mean, we're gonna crush her. Yeah, most you've definitely. got ice beam, which is gonna one shot them all. Cause you've been using Aurora beam, which is like this worst version of it. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, she's just like you. Hey! Oh dear. I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of the Celadon City Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are all of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well, but I shall not lose. That's one thing that always baffled me about gym leaders. They didn't have... They were so specialized in one type. Mm -hmm. They they never really had a balance, but that's what the LE4 yeah. was for. Like, yeah. Wait, but... no, the LE4 had themes too, didn't they? Yeah, every single member of the Elite Four Dragon, generally... Yeah, ice. ice. Uh, oh, okay. Ghost, so on and so forth. Yeah, I, I would love to play a Pokemon game where every gym gym leader was just a good trainer and designed to, to properly challenge I suppose that's what your rival you. is supposed to be, though. Come on, come on, Shelf. Okay. You are challenged by gym leader Erica. Yeah, but, like, in this game, our, our rival sucks. Like, they don't even have a full team or anything like that. Tangela. And, like, I don't know. I guess I just... I, I'm i desperate see. for... Ice Beam. I'm desperate for a Pokemon game that makes me feel like my intelligence and skill are kind of a respected thing as opposed to like a, well. Because yeah, I usually just go for like, I absolutely just always go for effectively what you did with Eevee, you know, the widest variety of moves on a Pokemon to, uh, you know, give them the, the most amount of different, you know, counters to enemies. And, you know, I never really bothered with the whole, uh, any of the tactical moves. Because I never needed to. Because, like, what's even the point? I'm really sad that when it comes to type weaknesses and stuff, it's just a one-hit wonder for most. Yeah. It's sort of sad. It's... I really think you should play uh, World of Final Fantasy at some mm. point. Because that, that game had type weaknesses, but there was such a sp small aspect to it. That you almost like yeah, forgot like, sure, that have they it were do there. a little bit more or less damage, but not to the point where you annihilate things. Yeah, like to go back to the Temtem thing, it takes a number of hits to take out an enemy, and it's like you can get you can actually can get like uh, beaten down pretty quick if it's like a bad type matching. Bio flume. Oh my god! It looks so derpy. It got. I think bigger. It's, I think it's because the face is a little bit too low on yeah, the body. Yeah, the face is a little bit too too low, and the body is just a little bit too body. <laughs> Super effective. Oh, it lived through that. That's because the other ones were lower. It is level evolutions. thirty-four. This one's a bit tougher. Yeah, remember, Nine Tails is only level twenty-nine. Yeah. Yeah, that is the one thing. Ice does not resist grass. Mm-hmm. But, like, whatever. Oh, I see. See, I thought the lore behind the gyms being one type was that the gym leaders had a set of Pokemon 
for use in the gym. Yeah, but at the same time, at that point, then you can justify having the gym leaders, like, scale their, uh, what Pokemon they have and how many based on, like, what you're coming with. Because they're supposed to switch it out depending on, like, what the challenge was going to be to scale it for you. Like, I think it would be so much better if she actually had, like, a full team of six or something. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. Yeah. You got a rainbow badge from Erica. A rainbow badge raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you to level 50. For Pokemon that you have received from other trainers. And here. If you like, please also take this with you. You got Mega Drain from Erica. It contains Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained from the target to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Kind of horrifying now that now that I think about it. <laughs> like, is so it healing a, the energy? It's and vampirism. Oh, yeah, Evie wants to, to speak. Yep. <laughs> Evie is still shaking uncontrollably. It was awesome. I got to be a spectator. Carl, look at that face. It's so smug. Look at it's that not face. like Leah Crosscode smug, but it's pretty smug. I probably should have rubbed its head while it was doing that face, but it was just too cute. Oh, what's wrong? Oh yes, awesome. Yes, you are. Do -do -do -do. So we're gonna be stopping here? Probably, yeah. I mean, we've been we have been playing Pokemon for five almost five and a half hours. We could keep going if you wanted to. Uh, it's okay. I'm a little hungry. Yeah, I'm really hungry too. So on a scale of one to Leah, how would you how smug would you rate it? I'd say like <laughs> a seven? It was a cute. Leah's smug is really hard to reach. I don't think I've seen anything else even close to Leah's smug. That is that is a distant, distant, uh, not requirement. As a, the high peak to climb to. I don't know. Okay. I'll just record this, but you should probably say things. Oh, yes, you're adorable. You beat Erica. Though you actually got to sit in the sidelines and watch. But you supported Vulpix, didn't you? You did, except now we'll pick the nine tails, but you don't want to evolve. No, you just enjoy being an Eevee. Yes, you do. Oh, oh, were you gonna sneeze? Eevee's been sneezing an awful lot this time around. Are you, do you have allergies? Is it because we're in Celadon City? Okay, there we go. Watch Evie refrain from sneezing. Just because you weren't recording at just the I'm right time. I'm sorry. I was not expecting that you'd discover a new emote for Evie to just pull out of nowhere. Sneezing. Yeah, because Evie's always had like the startup to the sneeze, but then never actually succeeded in sneezing. But I suppose you have the VOD, don't you? Or no? Uh, yeah, I got the VOD. Could always pull it out of that. Yes. Oh, oh. You were starting to sneeze, weren't you? It is really cute. I'll be right back. You are adorable. That's your point. Their cheeks are so budgy. So budgy. Budgy, 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 budgy. Looks like you're not gonna sneeze, are you? Let me keep you a berry. Know that. No. 
You loved that, didn't you? Oh, you were starting to sneeze again, weren't you? <gasps> so many sparkles! Yes! Oh, you're potentially going to sneeze again, but you didn't. No, you're dead. What's going on? It's that face. Oh, I, I stopped in mid-animation from the whole, like, head pats. Yeah. Look at your ears. Look at them. They're so flopsy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Secret techniques. You have the chop down. Any of the light up. Can't be used here. Well, of course not. Well, you've already used the chop down a number of times. Wait a minute. You're not going to be the one using surf. No, of course not. As far as I know, you can't swim. Maybe you could if you were a Vaporeon, but you don't want to be a Vaporeon. No, you don't. I love Vaporeon, though. sneezes. Wonder we'll have to put that in the video later. It might not be as high quality, but it'll still be so cute. Yeah. Yeah. We must have added something like this because of the whole Nintendogs business. You, oh, yes, you sneezed, poor Eevee. Oh, you did manage it. Took a long time. <gasps> yes, yes. So what do people vote on? I don't know what I'm playing next. Looks like people want Stellaris, and maybe X4. Oh, Ev <gasps> Evie has a present for you. Are you still recording? Yeah, I'm still recording. Yay. What did you get? A gold leaf. A mysterious gold leaf. No trees with this leaf have been found yet. Where did you get this, Evie? Where did you get a gold leaf? Watch Evie be from another dimension. Uh, That's where you're from. Multi dimensional all of these. Pokemon. Well, you know, that is a thing. Uh huh. Brought it from an alien world. No, Evie is an alien. Evie is an alien Pokemon. That's why they insist on learning all the moves themselves are hyper intelligent. You don't want to evolve because it would accidentally reveal your true form. I mean, it would make sense with all the hacks moves. That trainer guy is just Evie's like caretaker. <laughs> Eventually, we just get Evie's, space cannon. Evie's some kind of space prince. It's like, I want to learn about humans and their relationships with Pokemon. And the best way to do so would be to become one. I'll become a Pokemon and learn how to be loved by humans. Yes. And you are so loved, Evie. Yes, you are. Okay, Shell. <laughs> Good night. You absolute poke addict. You want to save? Sure. I don't know if... Well, I guess we just got the uh, gold leaf, so it's a good reason to do so. Mm-hmm.